and Japan and Israel are celebrating the success of two separate space assignments. Israel has launched its first spacecraft to the moon and Japan has become the first country to touch down on a moving asteroid. Here's Lindsay Martin. Japan's Hayabusa 2 probe has been chasing the Ryugu asteroid for more than four years. Now around 280 million kilometres from the start of its journey, Hayabusa 2 has finally caught up. I would like to confirm that Hayabusa 2 has touched down on asteroid Ryugu. Shortly after landing, JAXA announced the probe had successfully collected a sample of the rock by shooting metal bullets into the asteroid before passively collecting residue through a sample horn. While we don't know yet the details until it returns, I hope the Ryugu sample will lead to providing a clue to the evolution of the solar system. And as Japan shoots an asteroid, Israel is shooting for the moon. Bereshit, the Hebrew word for the beginning, the privately funded moon lander lifted off on board a SpaceX rocket in Florida. Only three countries have landed on the moon. If the washing machine size lander is successful, by mid-April, Israel would be the fourth. The state of Israel is a rising global power, rising, rising and rising to the moon. Meanwhile, European operator Ariane Space is signing deals with commercial partners after investing hundreds of millions of euros into the development of Ariane 6, a rocket intended to give Europe independent access to space. Space transport and access to outer space is always a strategic issue. You need it for military and security purposes. Every country needs to be in a position to decide for itself which satellites should go where and when, and that's why we have Ariane 6. Ariane 6 is due to launch for the first time in 2020, the same time Japan's Hayabusa is expected to return to Earth. Lindsay Martin, ABC News.